And I'm particularly interested in the Americans on that list. And uh, I like very much um, Jim Thompson, who's a difficult guy to read. I know he's, uh, he's quite painful, uh, psychologically profound and, uh, and hard read. Ross MacDonald is uh, probably another great writer who I admire. He's more sort of in the, in the vein of sort of you know, Chandler or Deshel Hammett. Uh, but the guy I'm particularly interested in reading is George V. Higgins, and especially his great book, The Friends of Eddie Coyle. I, I'm very definitely looking for noir. I'm, I'm not so interested in the detective novel. I'm much more interested in noir. I'm interested in that, uh, the, 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 the dark side of, of human nature. Uh, and especially in, in that American location where you, you know, you're, these are books that you know, I could never have possibly written. That's what uh, appeals to me. Uh, they're in a, a locale that I know very little about, and they are with a kind of person that uh, I have never come across. And that's what particularly attracts me to, to, to that kind of fiction. I think we live in a very complex society, and uh, I think that there is something in the subgenres of crime fiction that actually can offer people some sort of a solution for what's going on in their lives all around them. Um, it may be uh, that they want to get away from it, in which case they might go for a cosy, or it may be that they want to get deeply into it, in which case they might sort of go for sort of urban noir or something like that, or they might feel that they want to get into it, but get away from it as well. And so they go for a sort of urban noir and paranormal. There's all sorts of different genres there. I think that's what people find attractive, is that there is, is, there is some, what, something for everyone. Even if you have the most bizarre taste in the world, there is going to be something in crime fiction that will get you. The particular novel that I, I, I find great in that uh, list is, is The Friends of Eddie Core by, by George V. Higgins. Uh, just that, the start of that book, you know, Jackie Brown, at 26, with no expression on his face, said he could supply some guns. And from that moment, you are in this world of small-time hoods and cops. And the cops are desperately trying to keep the lid on this boiling cauldron of small-time hoods. And the hoods are desperately trying to make some money. And Jackie Brown is trying to sell guns to Eddie Fingers Coyle, He's called Fingers because he made a mistake one day and uh, supplied a gun to a, to a Mafia guy and it had some history and the Mafia guy was caught and ended up in prison and so they slammed his hand in a drawer and that's why he's called Eddie Fingers because it hurt like a bastard, as he said. And what I admire about this book is not, when I first read it, it was the, the, the dialogue, such brilliant dialogue, really dry, very funny, horribly funny. Uh, but then I reread it and I just suddenly saw w w how the, the plot worked so well with that dialogue. And the plot is basically this guy can s supply Eddie with some guns and Eddie wants lots of guns, but you don't really know why he wants lots of guns. And in the first half, you're trying to find out what it, why he wants these guns. And all the time, he, George V. Higgins is building up this web of suspicion and deceit between all the various different characters, between the hoods, between the cops. They're all giving each other information that they can trade. Because the thing about Eddie Coyle is he's got a murderer. He's, got, he's on a rap. He could, he could end up in prison, and he desperately doesn't want to. So he's going to cash somebody in. So that, all that, that web of deceit is, is very expertly weaved by, by George V. Higgins. Um, and then you suddenly find out what the guns are all about, why they're needed. Um, and that builds up to this, this wonderful finale with, uh, where all this information is suddenly humming through the, through the novel. And, uh, and Eddie Fingers decides he's going to cash in one of his non-friends in the hope that he's going to get off this rap. And it's a very good idea. But unfortunately, there's more information about Eddie out there than Eddie wants. And so I'm afraid Eddie gets more than his fingers trapped in the drawer this time. But it's a great book and very well worth, well, very well worth reading. Well, I think there's, there's, there's some absolutely brilliant writers 
you know, there, there are English writers, I particularly like the Americans on there, but there are some great English writers on there as well. There's Conan Doyle, for instance, is on the, that list. I think uh, there's something for, for everyone, whether, you're, whether you want to go back to the golden age or whether you want to be in the here and now. I think it's a great list.